new children's book is getting rave national reviews for its diversity and uplifting message. And it's not only fun to read, but fun to listen to. Brooke met the author in the recording studio. And don't be afraid to sing your song when it comes from inside. It won't be wrong. Just listen to your heart. Feel it getting strong. One Night in Frogtown is a musical storybook that I wrote really about diversity uh, in all its forms and about finding your inner voice. It's the story of a saxophone playing tadpole named Tad, who goes on a journey around Frogtown to discover different kinds of music only he can hear. A lot of the origins of the story come from my experience in LA during the riots, because that's something I lived through at the time that was deeply disturbing to me. I had never seen anything like that and didn't think anything like that was possible. You know, that really stayed with me, that resonated for a long time, and it probably took that long for it to come out in some sort of creative form. Saxophone player Devin Phillips plays Tad, acclaimed illustrator Vern Linder is the artist behind the frogs, and Philip, an A-lister himself, has won numerous awards, including an Emmy for a children's TV show. After years of working in TV and film, the idea for this book actually came from a puddle. And I'm kind of just, you know, really tired from moving and spaced out. I'm looking at the puddle and just imagining, all of a sudden I just imagine a little frog in there playing a little horn. And I just said, hey Vern, wouldn't it be really fun if there was a frog out in that puddle serenading us with a horn? And she looked at it, the puddle and goes, how big is he? And Philip already had a leg up on the background music. I've been collecting frog sounds for uh, quite a few years and have quite a collection. Now, because of this book? Well, just, just in general, fun? just because of, just for fun. <laughs> here's, uh, here's one. <laughs> and that's a real frog? That's a real frog. <laughs> Do you know how to do chopsticks? <laughs> Frogs. Even the artists provided their own amphibious magic. I also recorded all the singers making frog sounds. One Night in Frogtown is a project that continues to grow. What started as a book and CD has grown to a movie and a Broadway style performance. It's intense and great. I mean, it was really, really fun. Can't wait to do it again. Apparently before I leave this place, I have to do my own frog impression, so let me give it a try here. All right. Ribbit. Ribbit. Back to you guys. Ribbit. Good, Ribbit. Brooke, but a little more amphibious. More amphibious? Use the gills. Okay. okay. Nicely done, Breck. One Night in Frogtown is the first in what will be a series of books. For more information and a link to the Frogtown website, log on to our website, better.tv, and look for this story.